This is a pretty cool hitch that comes in handy when you have to cinch stuff down. The name says it all. It's great to hold stuff down on the bay of a truck or the deck of a boat on a windy day. Here's how it works. Secure one end of your rope using a bowline or any other stable knot and pass the rope over the object you want to secure. Make a simple loop by twisting the rope about a foot away from the bar or ring you want to secure the other side of the rope to. Now make a bite in the rope a few inches from your loop and pass the bite into the loop. With the rest of the working end, pass it through your O-ring or around the object you want to secure the rope to. Last, you'll take the working end and pass it through the loop that you made with the bite. Now your rope works like a block and tackle. You can cinch the rope down using the loop for purchase. When you have your item secured, tie it off by making a couple of half hitches with the working end of your rope. You can do something like this using any loop and cinching your rope down with the loop. But the trucker's hitch is a great trick because when you are done it's easy to release. To review, make a loop with your rope and add a couple of extra twists to the loop. Now make a bite in the working piece just below the loop and pass it through the loop. Take the working end and pass it around the thing you're securing to, in this case the bar here. Bring the working end back up to your loop and pass it through the loop. Pull down using your homemade block and tackle. Secure it with a couple of half hitches. Make one a slip if you want. Ta-da! One handy trucker's hitch. The Prusik is a sort of hitch that comes in handy for climbers in emergency situations. But sailors also like to use this type of hitch to get up and down rigging. The Prusik slides when there's no weight applied, but as soon as there's weight on the Prusik, it stays firm. So by loosening, sliding, and applying weight, you can slowly climb up the rope. The single prusik is pretty simple. Take a rope and create a single loop using any joining knot that you're comfortable with. In this case, I'll just use a reef knot. Quick note, the prusik works better with longer loops. Too short and it won't grab as well as it could. You will need a second rope that is taut, like this one. Bend the loop around the second rope. You will now simply pass one bite through the other and pull the bite tighter. There's your prusik. You can see that with no weight on the rope, you can slide it up and down, but it will stay solid when you put pressure on it. This is mainly a climbing knot, so you want this to be as secure as possible. For extra support, pass the bite through the loop a second time. This allows the prusik to hold a bit more weight. Let's take a look at this one more time. Make a loop in a short piece of rope. Take the loop and bend it around the rope you're trying to climb. Pass the top bite through the bottom. There's the prusik. The taut line is a camper's best friend. It's the absolute best knot for tightening up your tent or tarp lines and a great way to quickly add a rope to tighten things up. Once it's been tied in a rope, the knot can slide up and down. Then when you let it go, it will hold the tension. So you can easily add tension or change the length of the rope without tying a new knot. To tie a taut line, you'll need a rope, tent peg, or a post to hitch around. Take your rope and make a complete loop around your post, leaving about 6 to 10 inches on the working end. Make a loop around the standing part, passing the lead through the loop so that the lead passes over and through. Make a second loop through the loop, passing under your last loop. Now the final step is to make a simple half hitch outside the loop. Make sure it's going the same direction as your other two loops. Now snug it up. Let's review. Pass the working end around your anchor, making a full loop. Make a half hitch through the loop. Pass the working end around and through the loop a second time, making sure it goes under your first half hitch. Now tie a simple half hitch in the same direction underneath your big loop. Now tighten. Also often called the Z-Rig or 3 to 1 mechanical advantage, 
The Z-drag takes the grunt out of grunt work by decreasing the amount of pull you'll need to move an object. This means you would only need 100 pounds of pull to move a 300 pound object. It is a great way to combine a lot of knots you've learned to create one ultimate pulley system. It involves a clove hitch, the overhand knot as a stopper knot, the figure eight knot in a bite or loop, and the prusik. To create a Z-drag, you do require a little more than a rope. You'll need two carabiners, two length of prusik cord, two pulleys, and something huge to move. Other than the object to move, you can buy these items all together in a Z-drag kit at climbing or paddling shops. To start, you'll need to attach the first pulley to something unmovable, like a tree. Use a heavy piece of rope with a figure eight knot or webbing with a tape knot. Take the end of the long heavy rope and attach it to the object you want to move. This is a good spot to use a noose if you need to apply pressure, or a bowline if you need a stable loop. The bowline is a good choice here because it won't bind after you apply all the pressure to it. The second pulley needs to be attached. Start with a short piece of webbing or sturdy rope and make a second loop through the grommet on the pulley. This one will need to be really strong, so use a figure eight or tape knot here. Use the loop with the pulley to make a prusik on the rope attached to the object you're going to move. In this case, the dock we're going to pull up for winter. The next step is to take your long, heavy rope and feed it into the pulleys. First, through the one attached to the tree. Then, through the pulley attached to the prusik. Now you have two points of contact and can begin pulling. Pulleys are amazing things. They almost double the amount of power you can apply for every pulley you add. Here, we attached a second prusik with a third pulley for even more force. The benefit of the prusik is that you can move the pulleys up and down the rope as you get close to the fixed pulley, allowing you to keep hauling away. Okay, the quick and dirty Z-drag review. Attach a pulley to a tree or other stable object using a heavy piece of rope or webbing. Using a figure eight follow through with a rope or tape knot with your webbing. Attach a long heavy piece of rope to the object you're going to move. Attach a second pulley to a shorter piece of hefty rope or webbing. Use the loop you've created to attach the pulley to make a prusik on your long piece of rope. Run the long piece of rope through the fixed pulley, then through the pulley attached to the prusik. Pull away. A little warning here, there's going to be a ton of force applied to these ropes. Weak ropes can easily snap. So be sure to inspect your ropes regularly for any frays or kinks before attempting a drag. Fraying is a sign that the rope is going to break and kinks happen if the rope is broken from the inside. Use inspected climbing rope or new rope tested for high weights.